Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the auto bidding on trades and why it will give you a cutting edge. So the reason why trade bidding is extremely important is, as you see, the floor price of this uh, collection is 0.3 something, right? However, if you, for instance, lay your hands in one of these deep alphas, you will notice that the floor price of this trade is 4.2. I will give you another example real fast. If you get a female, you will notice that the floor price is almost twice as much as the regular floor price. There are other special trades in this collection. I'm not going to go into details of why they are more valuable than others, because it might change according to the collection. Uh, but for instance, let's start bidding on maybe females on this collection and see how it works. Let's go to Ninja Squad official edit and then you know what I'm okay to pay let's say 0.4 for a female ninja and I want this to be competitive meaning that I'm also going to enter my max value here so if the existing bit is higher than 0.4 let's say something like 0.45 but lower than my max bit then the system is going to to adjust its price and it's going to bid 1% higher than the existing bid on the NFT. Then I want my expiry time to 1 hour is fine. Alright, so the buy now button is also important. If you click uh, buy now button, the system is going to only bid on NFTs which are listed. So it's going to skip the unlisted NFTs. I'm not going to click on it right now. So, you know what, let's just start Oh, we were going to select the traits, right? That's the main thing. So here's the gender and I want to bid on females only. Now I will hit the submit button. You will see the MetaMask popping up. Uh, you can either do this manually or you can just set an auto clicker like I usually do. Actually, you know what? Let me set one for you from scratch. So I will pick the this location and then I will pick this location and it's just going to do it automatically for me on the other hand if you actually use the uh, private key bidding over here just on the left of the stop bit sign you will notice that you don't even have to use a clicker or you don't even have to click them manually on yourself the system is going to do everything for you you know what let's go check and see if my bits have been going through didn't i stop this hold on yeah let's stop bidding uh, so I will go to my profile and then let's go to the activity tab. You see that I, my bits have been going through on this collection. You know what? Oh, okay. Okay. Actually I demonstrated the, uh, competitive bidding as well because I had an offer already had an offer on this NFT. This, this was my offer. So since I turned on competitive bidding, the system already adjusted the bit and bit uh, 1% higher than the existing bit on the NFT, right? So why don't we go ahead and make this a little bit more complicated? So what I'm going to do right now is, you remember I mentioned about other uh, trades that are selling for more. So I think it was this one, face spectators. Uh, there is not many on sale for this one. Let's click on buy now. You see there's only three being listed right now. However, there is actually 100 items. So, and the floor price of this trade is 1.6 something. So, what I can do is, you know what, let me add this collection again. This time, I'm going to offer a little bit higher. I'm going to offer maybe 0.75 and then maybe a max of 0.98, let's say. Uh, I'm not going to pick buy now only because obviously there is only three being listed right now. I'm going to go ahead and select, it was the face trade, right? I think it was the spectators. Should be around somewhere here, yep, this one. And this time I will, I don't want to click on this. So I'm just going to uh, use the private key method. Only founder members, founding members will be able to use this. And you have to know what you are doing if you are using this one, because uh, private key, as I mentioned in my previous videos, is like giving out your private key. 
is pretty much giving out the keys to your apartment. So uh, you have to be sure what you're doing and you have to be using a burner wallet. So let's start submit bits. Now you will actually see this system is bidding uh, without taking over the computer. So you don't have to click on anything. There is no MetaMask pop up. And you see that the system is only bidding on NFTs that I wanted it to bid, right? So let's check this one to make sure this is uh, supposed to be a spectator as well. Yep. Yeah. So this is how the private key version uh, works. There are other stuff actually I can talk about, but I don't want to make the video super long. Like uh, we are going to implement the and and or conditions. So you will be able to be done uh, NFTs that have either one of the traits or you can you will be able to pick only the NFTs, which is both of the traits, but that those will come later. So this is the starting point at the moment. And if there are any, any, any errors, you will see it here. Uh, for instance, this is coming from OpenSea. There is an API error on their side. Uh, the, in this error logs, we only see the, we only show the NFTs that didn't go through. But, but on the progress bar, you can see that uh, you can see how much of the total progress is completed. As you see, there is actually a lot more females, so it is going a little bit slower. However, there is only, I think, 100 spectators, so this is going a lot faster. Anyway, so this is how it works. As you see, the system is working on its own. I'm not really touching anything. This is the private key version that's only going to be available for founders, and there's only going to be uh, 100 for sale on this NFT collection. Uh, the other one is going to be later added to lifetime members. We will launch at some time. So the basic difference is all the automated processes that we are doing are going to be a part of the founders. However, if you are okay with uh, clicking on your own or in the future, we will also add the auto buy features. You will pick the trades. You will, you know what? Let me just show it to you super fast. Uh, let me go to the website. For instance, uh, reveal this one, doggies, right? So the system will be able to, you will just say that, you know what, give me the minimum price of 0.6 and maximum, you know what, just let the maximum price and give me the max rank of 2000, let's say, then the system is automatically going to buy this one. You can adjust it. You can just say it in the first thousands. And if the criteria is uh, meeting yours, the system is going to just purchase it for you. This is, I'm talking for the founders, for the lifetime version that we will launch later uh, in the future is basically going to do the same thing. However, it is going to pop up the MetaMask interface. So you will have to do it on your own. But if you are using the founder version, the system is going to do it for you. Anyway, I will give more details on this. It's also in the announcement channel in Discord. If you have any questions, go ahead and just ask uh, anything you have in mind. Have a good one, guys.